Right now, there are few hints of compromise, and certainly there is a disconnect between lawmakers and the White House. That there are nine days left until another possible government crisis. If a deal is not reached by February 15th, President Trump is likely to declare a national emergency to build a border wall, or the government could shut down without a deal. We learned he'll travel to El Paso next week for a campaign event, and to hammer this point home, a barrier of some type is needed along the southern border. So the president is still digging in, and both Texas senators are behind him. Senator John Cornyn supports the funding and says it's House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that is holding up a deal. Cornyn has warned against the president declaring a national emergency and is matter of fact when it comes to the risks involved in taking this step. I know he'll be sued. It'll be tied up in litigation for months, if not years, and ultimately is not going to be successful. The conference committee tasked with coming up with an agreement, those 17 lawmakers, is working behind the scenes. The big question, whether or not they will come up with a deal, something the president will sign off on. House and Senate leaders are saying they are making progress, but no major headlines just yet. Unfortunately, uh, this political environment is one that, uh, where, um, that I don't consider normal, uh, where people actually are making decisions based on reason and logic. So whether or not we'll see another government shutdown is a question I'm asking lawmakers. Here's what Senator Cruz had to say about the possibility. If they don't compromise, it is all but inevitable that the president will act unilaterally using congressional authorization that's previously been passed to go forward, build a wall and secure the border. And, and I agree with the president that is a critical national priority. No matter what happens, the State of the Union called for compromise. And exactly how far bipartisanship will go depends on the president. In Washington, Margaret Chadbourne, Capitol Tonight.